This is Jeff Foster from WebBizIdeas.com. Today, I will walk you through search engine optimization, or commonly known as SEO, techniques that you can perform to increase your search engine rankings. Let's start with an introduction to search engine optimization. A simple definition is the techniques used so customers see your website listing when they search. For example, if you search for the keyword credit card processing, you will see that there are paid results and you will see that there are natural listings. Paid results are known as pay-per-click advertising and natural organic listings are the result of SEO techniques. Why is search engine optimization important from a marketer's point of view? Well, for one, Search engine optimization pulls more traffic than pay-per-click. Many eye tracking surveys, like the one shown, reveals 80% of internet users click on the first three listings of Google. Other reasons are natural listings are perceived to be non-biased. Search engine optimization gives better return on your investment than any other marketing medium. There are no bidding wars or click fraud in SEO. And finally, SEO helps in creating an online brand. If you decide to do SEO in-house, your first objective is keyword research. We will now cover how to inexpensively perform keyword research. Keyword research can be done using free tools from Google, Yahoo Search Engine Marketing, and Microsoft Ad Center. All you need to do is sign up for an advertising account with them, log in, and use their free keyword research tools. A great paid service comes from a company called WordTracker.com. WordTracker allows you to type in a keyword, such as internet marketing, and see how many other variations of that keyword people also search for. But next I will show you an example of a free way to do this. SEObook.com has a free tool for performing keyword research. All you need to do is type in a keyword, for example, internet marketing, and it will show you not only the keyword variations from Word Tracker, but it will also show you how many times it is searched on a daily basis from Google, Yahoo, and MSN. After you perform keyword research, you will need to research your competition. SEOChat.com offers a free SEO tool that will help you measure how many competitors there are for a keyword. When you type in a keyword, it will show you a percentage. A high percentage means more competitors. A low percentage means less competitors. More on competition analysis. When promoting a website, you have four important tasks to perform before doing any work on your website. These tasks are 1. Find all your competitors 2. Find how important these websites are 3. Find how many sites link to them and finally 4. How many pages each website has indexed in the search engines. I will assume you already have a list of competitors and are starting to analyze each one from here out. Next we will cover on-page optimization and off-page optimization. On-page optimization starts with a page's structure and meta tags. Although meta keywords and meta descriptions add little or no value to your site anymore, meta titles do. Your meta title is one of the first attributes search engines see. If you are deciding whether to take the time to create meta descriptions and meta keywords, I would recommend that you do. It helps for organization and it will help you down the road for other advertising campaigns. The next attribute search engines look at are your header tags. Having an H1 and H2 tag on each page will help tell the search engines what your page is about. Having the correct content plays an even larger role in on-page optimization. The proper keyword density and placement of keywords is essential. Correct URLs are important. You should keep your URLs short and have them relate to your page's content. Search engines aren't able to determine what pictures are about unless you tell them. Adding image alt tags to each image 
will help them index your images properly. Creating a simple HTML sitemap is important for online users. Try to keep each page of your sitemap under 100 links. Creating an XML sitemap is important for search engine spiders. You may need to create a different XML sitemap for multiple search engines. After you have your website built and optimized, checking to make sure you don't have any errors is important. Google offers free webmaster tools that allow you to check crawling stats, link stats, and errors on your website. Just go to google.com and search for Google Webmaster Tools. Now that your on-page optimization is complete, it is time to work on off-page optimization. The key to link development is to get as many high-link-valued websites to link back to you. Remember what I talked about earlier with Google's PageRank tool. The same concept applies here. You want important websites and or websites that relate to your website to link back to you. First, let's cover making sure your basics are covered. Submitting your website to online directories is an easy and important first step. Submitting to local directories is also an easy and important first step. Registering with online yellow pages can also be a great solution. If you want a complete list of the websites above, just give us a call. After you have submitted your website to all the big name engines and directories, we want to start a strong link development campaign. There are three ways to obtain links. First, there's one-way links, which means just site A links to site B, but site B does not link back to site A. Second is two-way links. This is when both websites link to each other. This is very common in link exchanges. Third is three-way links. This is when site A links to site B, and site B is asked to link back to a different website. There are very creative and very ethical ways to go about doing this, which I'll show you next. Three-way linking explained. We have a client called redneckcommunity.com. The website is a community for rednecks and redneck businesses to connect with each other. We have also built an online directory and a subdomain for the client. Since one-way links add more link value than two-way links, we have organized the client's link development plan in the following way. First, we will contact all related Redneck websites and have them link back to the redneckcommunity.com. In exchange, we will add them to the directory which is on a subdomain and a different IP address. So you can see that we are still exchanging links, but the link value is higher for both parties involved because each link counts as a one-way link. Another great link building technique is article submission. If your business sells fish tanks and you write 10 articles on how to care for a fish tank, other people may want to read them. So what we do is distribute the articles all over the web. Each article will link back to your website. We do the same with online press releases, blogs, and RSS feeds. Large engines like the one shown allow you to submit content for free. If you want a complete list of websites you should submit your website to, just give us a call. An example of how to submit an online press release is shown below. Make sure you include your keywords in your title. Link your main keywords to your URL if possible. Always include a link to your website in the footer.